Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 45062 CNB. This is a piece of, it's a sample piece of a mill aluminum, pardon me, a clear anodized aluminum. It's not mill, it's clear anno. Um, angle style holder with an inserted brush seal. Okay. Now what is the angle type used for? Well, the angle type is really best used for two applications. The first and most primarily overhead doors. So when you have, um, and if you go home and look at your overhead door, if it has weather stripping on the jam, it will be an angle type. Um, the, the flange, the, the holder, the aluminum extrusion is hell is screwed to the jam. But then your door, let's do it this way, to the jam. But then your door comes down like this. That's how that works. And they'll put those on the jams. You can, you can, you know, technically put them on the header as well. Um, but you don't usually see them there. You can also see them down at the uh, bottom uh, section of the door as well. So it comes down and seals this way. So that's where you're going to see that overhead doors. And also you'll see that in swinging doors as well. These are swinging door applications are nice because it just comes up and makes a seal against the material. So the door will come and seal against that. And the reason that that's nice is because you get a lot of surface area between the bristle and the face of the door. It seals very effectively. Um, rather than something coming installed straight on like this with like a vinyl bubble or silicone or neoprene, that angle type is really nice because it'll allow tremendous surface area. That's number one. Number two, you'll have residential style um, thresholds in applications where doors swing out and that leading edge, you know, you'll have an outswing door, but you'll have a leading edge or a sill extension, something that has a, degree, a, a slope to it, like a five degree slope. It's nice to be able to have the door come up and seal against that so that it actually seals like this same concept, lots of surface area. But primarily overhead doors or swinging doors, man doors, when it's installed on the jams and on the header. And when I install this material onto a man door, a um, couple of things that we're going to want to talk about. First of all, maybe consider ordering it longer and then mitering everything in the corners of the jam and the header so that you can get a nice continuous seal. That's number one. Number two, be mindful of your hardware. What do I mean by that? Any hardware that is screwed to the soffit of the frame, which would be a parallel arm bracket for a closer, it would certainly be a strike for a rim exit device. You're going to have a, a lack in continuity of weather stripping in those areas. You could purchase an offset bracket that will allow the weather stripping to run continuously and then the uh, Z bracket basically is going to allow you to connect your hardware to that bracket. And I'll illustrate that when we switch to the screen view. Again, this is just a six inch sample piece. And we'll go over what other finishes this is available in. Why is bristle so effective? Um, you know, why, why, why would you want bristle over the other inserts? You have neoprene, silicone, polyurethane, vinyl, uh, derivatives of neoprene, uh, bristle obviously as well. But what exactly am I illustrating with running this on my fingers? What I'm illustrating is how well this contours over an irregular surface. Okay, So if you're using maybe not an angle style as a sweep, but any bristle style, be mindful. It really contours very well. If you have a door and you have a pitted concrete sill that you're going to seal right up against, consider bristle because it's highly effective at contouring itself. The other advantage of bristle, two things. Uh, people in the restaurant business, they don't know why they want bristle, but they know they want bristle because restaurants are constantly inspected, naturally, and the inspector's looking for daylight. Bristle, because of its ability to contour, really blocks out the daylight. There, there go, ergo blocks out, there go, ergo blocks out insects and critters. Inspectors love bristle style. Um, and it's known that insects and critters don't like to land on bristle. Um, so there you go. That's why you might want to consider a bristle style because it contours itself so well. Neoprene, silicone, polyurethane, vinyl, you know, TPE, other, other inserts are not going to 
not going to work like that. Okay, um, it's going to come with fasteners. If this was the genuine article, it would have a slotted hole at a particular distance from the edge, and then you know so many slotted holes down the way. Generally, there's one more hole per foot. So if it was a seven foot piece, there should be about eight holes. It's a general rule of thumb, not absolute. You can order any length that you want. We have in the site listed from two foot to eight foot. Um, you get past three foot and then the cost to ship changes because of the rules that carriers have concerning length. So don't order eight foot pieces when you know that you need a bunch of 32 inch pieces. Order three foot pieces if you're going to cut them down. I would really recommend that you order them the actual size for two reasons. Not only are they going to cut it to the right length, but they'll give you that slotted hole at the proper distance from the edge and then the proper center to center as well. There are three components in this uh, item. There's aluminum, there's nylon bristle, and there's steel. So be mindful when you're putting that into your chop saw that you're going to hit some steel in there and it's, I don't know if I can pull it out. Not really. The steel is what is holding all the bristle together. So be mindful that you'll cut that with aviation snips. And all that I would need to do would be to relieve that hole a little bit so I could slide that item out because it went in there and then the you know, the factory kind of crimps that down a little bit. I've had people call and say, yeah, there's a there's damage on the backside of the door bottom, et cetera, et cetera. No, it's not damaged. It literally is a center punch in a, in a, in a small hammer so that it will keep the insert from sliding in and out. Let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at some supporting documentation. Um, screws are included. These like appear to be like six by five eighths or so um, pan head sheet metal screws. Let's switch to the screen view. This is the item that we are looking at. This happens to be a 24 inch length. You can ignore that. 45 degree retainer. The aluminum is the holder or the retainer. Extended description information listed down below. Dimensional properties. We didn't actually touch on those. Let's put the tape measure on it now. Um, the length of the bristle is, yeah, it's closer to 9 sixteenths, I would say, rather than 5 eighths. Um, and uh, the holder, the way that they're measuring it there, I would say that yes, it would be 15 sixteenths. So this dimension is accurate, closer to 9 sixteenths. This dimension is accurate as well. Um, the projection, you know, is the projection. 7 sixteenths also is accurate, okay? Now, uh, let's do a couple of things. First of all, let's show you what that Z bracket looks like. That Z bracket looks like this. So imagine whether it be a parallel arm bracket or it be a rim exit device strike. Let's just say it's a rim exit. Let, yeah, let's just say it's a rim exit device strike. It doesn't matter. The principle is, is the same. Okay, there is a grossly out of scale a little bit better, I suppose. Okay, so you have your door. Okay, left hand reverse, uh, let's say. You have, you want to put your weather stripping on here. Right, it's what you want. Well, when you have a rim exit device strike, Got the head of your panic device here. You're going to have a break in continuity. You don't want that. So what they do manufacture and what we can supply you is an offset Z bracket. You apply that offset Z bracket first. Okay, you get the picture. You run your weather stripping down through that with no conflict. You add your rim roller strike for your exit device here. Then you have the best of both worlds, complete continuity of your weather stripping. The only downside is you obviously need to adjust your back set for your hardware. Now, imagine if this was for a parallel arm door closer. In your mind's eye, rotate all of this 90 degree clockwise, and it's the same concept, except now you're going to install a, a parallel arm bracket there and then a door closer here. Again, you have to adjust your templating. but a lack of or a break in continuity of weather stripping in extreme hot, extreme cold temperatures um, is an awful idea to uh, knowingly design the um, equipment around that. Knowingly an awful idea. So let's talk about the different finishes below this video here, below the video, 
That's what I'm trying to say. Here is a link to the manufacturer's page. When we click on that, we can pull up the full product catalog. And let's copy our part number, 45062. We've got the catalog open, and when we search 45062 CNB, it's not going to come up because they don't list it with the finish. So just search for the root 45062, and your PDF reader will index the document. What's nice about this is it will show you all of the sister products related to angle bristle. Lots of different lengths here. Okay. Different finishes. Powder coated dark bronze, black powder coated, clear anodized aluminum, dark bronze, gold, painted white, white powder, painted white and white suede powder coat. So this is black, but it's black suede powder coat. So painted white is going to be a smoother finish with a more reflective white, and the white suede will have a bit of a texture to it because it's a powder coat process. Also, will be the part number for the replacement insert only. It can be done in black, gray, and white. You can have whatever you want, but there are standards. If you order clear anodized, you're going to get gray for the insert. If you order these whites, you're going to get white. Okay, so... Um, if, if you want to buy clear anodized aluminum and you want a black insert, indicate that in the comment field when ordering the material, and we will um, ask that the factory oblige that request. Really handy getting to the catalog to be able to review all of these available bristles. <clears throat> Most common on this page, well, angle bristle in general is less common than standard, obviously, but looking at these part numbers, you know, the 45100, the 45061, um, is common. 45100 is fairly common. 100, zero, zero, 1 inch. 062, 5 eighths. 137, 1 and 3 eighths. You can see how that, that, that the decimal version. 041 or 41, you know, close to 3 eighths. 175 inch and 3 quarter. Um, if you're doing an overhead door, I would consider something a little um, greater than one inch because, or an overhead roll-up door, I should say. Roll-up doors are, are corrugated, so you're going to want some, you know, bristle to be able to intrude into all of these areas here, okay? So maybe something a little bit longer uh, rather than shorter would be the way to go with that. Also on the manufacturer's page, you can review all of the PEMCO items that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, as well as a link to the manufacturer's website in addition to the full line catalog. There's also a link to the A117.1 document, which is the federal guidelines as it pertains to accessible and usable buildings and facilities. Why is it important for weather stripping? Well, weather stripping includes thresholds, and thresholds are very much governed by handicap compliance. So if you're wondering what rise over run or slope that's permissible, the maximum height that's permissible, that's all in this document. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, a nice quality product from Pemco, a good quality company, good quality people, the whole nine yards. Um, we endeavor to stock their material. Much of what is something that you may be looking at ordering may be made to order, so plan ahead. They are Pemco manufacturing. They make things to order, so do allow a lead time. Um, and if there is a lead time, I can tell you the material is always well worth the wait. Nice quality item. Just, a, again, a 6-inch sample piece of this product. Uh, if you have any questions on the 45062 CNB or any other PEMCO product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.